I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is now rolling out the latest May 2023 Patch Tuesday cumulative updates. And uh, they rolled out on the 9th of May, which once again was late yesterday in my region. And the Patch Tuesday updates, as many of you would know, are compulsory automatic mandatory updates unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. And uh, um, because they are mandatory updates, they will be downloaded and installed automatically unless, um, as mentioned, you pause the update. And once your machine and your device has restarted, um, if we head to view update history, it will be listed. The update will be listed under quality updates KB5026361. So that's the Windows 10 um, latest patch to the update for May 2023. Now the update is rolling out for Windows 10 versions 22H2, 21H2 and Windows Server uh, 20H2 and is a security update which does bring um, numerous security fixes to Windows 10 for this month. And uh, um, just to mention those quickly, um, there are 19 security fixes that have rolled out with the update, addressing 19 security flaws and issues uh, in Windows 10. And important to note that four of those are critical vulnerabilities that have been addressed, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So um, it is important. Um, this is an important security update. And those four critical vulnerabilities which have been fixed are all remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means that um, the hackers, the attackers, so to speak, can gain access to your system remotely over the internet or over a network, just as two examples. So um, 19 vulnerabilities have been addressed, four of those critical. So this is an important security update rolling out. And I certainly hope that we don't get any issues regarding this, um, because obviously um, when issues do roll out, it, it, it is suggested to uninstall updates. Um, if it does cause side effects, so to speak, um, after you install updates, which is quite common with these Patch Tuesday updates, but we hope that this month we don't get any of those issues because obviously trying to uninstall a security update uh, is not the optimum because it does address important vulnerabilities in Windows 10. Now with that um, out the way, um, which is quite common for Microsoft to do with the Patch Tuesday updates, the security update also includes quality improvements which were part of this update, which was the optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of April last month, KB5025297. So if you didn't install this update, those improvements and bug fixes will now be carried over into this latest update. And I did post a whole video on 5025297, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But just to do a quick um, a recap for the purpose of this video, if you would be interested, um, if you didn't uninstall those, sorry, if you didn't install those updates, um, those fixes now will include a fix for the news and interest feed, which was flickering and was causing flickering on the taskbar and other little issues regarding news and interests. That has been addressed. And if we head back to our settings and we head to time and language, um, the update also adds the ability to sync language and region settings. Um, when you change your Microsoft account display language or regional format. So if you are changing your regional format, um, your Microsoft account display language or regional format, um, now what happens if we head to accounts and sync your settings, um, those language preferences now, if you have sync settings turned on, will now sync, which is basically a new improvement that Microsoft did roll out with that update. And over and above that, another key highlight would be that it improves firewall settings and also includes numerous fixes so those are all rolling out now in this latest patch tuesday update if you didn't install that optional update last month and uh, over and above that um although this is a security update that has rolled out and microsoft also um, notes that this update also addresses a race condition in um, the laps laps which stands for windows local administrator password solution what was happening was that um, the Local Security Authority Subsystem Service, LSASS for short, um, wasn't responding and it caused an error code 0xc0000005. So that's a lot of zeros, but nonetheless was generating that error code. And according to Microsoft, has now been fixed and addressed. And if we just head over to Winver, which um, is about Windows, as many of you would know, and we just run that quickly um, for Windows 10. Version 22H2, the OS build is now bumped up to 
6.5, which is now the latest build for the latest stable version of Windows 10. So that's it for this month. KB5026361 is now available and rolling out as part of the Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.